A sea of threats? China's mine warfare strategy. China's military might is growing. One aspect of this growth is particularly concerning naval mines. China is producing a large number of these mines. This strategy poses a significant threat to the United States Navy, particularly in key maritime regions. Naval mines are a cost-effective way to control the seas. They can cause significant damage to warships. China's focus on mine warfare suggests a shift towards asymmetric tactics. This approach aims to counter the U.S. Navy's traditional dominance in open ocean warfare. The sheer number of mines China possesses is alarming. Some experts estimate China has over 100,000 mines at its disposal. This massive arsenal combined with technological advancements creates a complex challenge for the U.S. Navy. These mines are not mere explosives. They are sophisticated weapons with advanced capabilities. China's investment in mine warfare technology highlights its determination to challenge U.S. naval supremacy. The Silent Arsenal Types and Technologies China's naval mines are not simple static explosives. They are equipped with advanced technologies, making them more difficult to detect and neutralize. These mines represent a significant leap in naval warfare capabilities. Some mines are triggered by sound. The noise of a passing ship can detonate these mines. Others respond to magnetic signatures, targeting the metal hulls of warships. Pressure-sensitive mines are triggered by the change in water pressure as a ship passes overhead. These advanced triggering mechanisms make traditional mine-sweeping methods less effective. The U.S. Navy relies heavily on sonar for underwater detection. However, China's use of materials like fiberglass in mine construction reduces their detectability by sonar. The development of rising mines adds another layer of complexity. These mines sit dormant on the seabed until they detect a target. They then rise to a certain depth and detonate, targeting the vulnerable underside of a ship. Shallow waters, deep trouble, the carrier conundrum. U.S. aircraft carriers are powerful symbols of American naval power. However, their effectiveness is significantly reduced in shallow waters. This vulnerability is particularly concerning in regions like the South China Sea. The restricted environment makes them easier targets for mine attacks. China's mine-laying capabilities create a significant risk. U.S. carrier battle groups are designed for open ocean warfare. Their mine-sweeping capabilities are challenged in littoral zones. Section 4, A Minefield of Challenges, Countering the Threat The United States Navy faces a significant challenge in countering China's mine warfare strategy. The sheer number of mines, their advanced technologies, and their potential deployment in strategically important areas create a complex problem. Traditional mine countermeasures may not be sufficient to address the evolving threat posed by China's mine warfare capabilities. The U.S. Navy must invest in modernizing its technologies and strategies to maintain a tactical edge in this domain. Developing new detection methods is crucial. Relying solely on sonar is no longer enough. The U.S. Navy needs to explore alternative technologies that can effectively detect mines constructed with modern materials. Improving mine clearing capabilities is another priority. Traditional mine sweeping techniques need to be enhanced to deal with the sophistication and volume of mines China can deploy. Unmanned underwater vehicles or UUVs could play a crucial role in this effort. The future of mine warfare. Mine warfare is reshaping naval strategy. As China invests in mine warfare, the U.S. Navy must adapt. New technologies like autonomous underwater vehicles and advanced sonar systems are crucial. Innovative mine detection methods will shape the future. The U.S. Navy must lead in these advancements. Strategic partnerships and joint exercises are essential. Operating in contested maritime environments will define future naval warfare.